I'm making Korean vegetarian and vegan recipes all week, and today is vegan kimchi. Cut the Napa cabbage in half lengthwise. Cut into quarters and into bite-sized pieces and transfer to a bowl. We're brining the cabbage with Korean sea salt. At Korean markets, you'll find coarse or fine sea salt, so get the coarse salt for kimchi. Add the salt and water to the cabbage and set aside for about two hours. Meanwhile, prepare the porridge, seasoning, and vegetables. For the porridge, I'm using the Korean vegetable broth made in my previous post. You'll need sweet rice flour, also called glutinous rice flour. Cook the broth and flour until it thickens and set aside to cool. It will thicken more as it cools. Next, chop the vegetables. Chop the green onions and optional chives. For the Korean radish, look for ones with a white smooth finish without dark spots. Slice into thin matchsticks along with the carrots. Toss the cabbage every 30 minutes to evenly distribute the salt. Next, make the seasoning by blending all the ingredients together with the vegetable broth from my previous post. You can see how much water has drawn out from the cabbage. Rinse a few times to remove the salt and drain. Meanwhile, make a paste by mixing the seasoning, porridge, and gochugaru together in a bowl. You'll find either coarse or fine gochugaru in stores. Make sure you get the coarse for kimchi. Mix to form a paste, then add in the chopped vegetables and mix together. Add the drained cabbage and using kitchen gloves, mix together until the cabbage is evenly coated. Now taste and add more seasoning or gochugaru to taste. Transfer to containers or jars and press down to remove air pockets. You can also add some water to get any remaining paste. Now leave some space on top as the kimchi will expand during fermentation. So leave the kimchi out at room temperature. I'm going to leave it out for two days because it's winter. Otherwise, if it was summer, I would leave it out for one day. So how long you wait until the kimchi is fermented is really about personal preference. Some people wait five days, some people wait two weeks. So after about a week or so, taste it to see if it's sour enough. Otherwise, you can just uh, leave it in the fridge a little bit longer.